Hey guys, welcome back. It's Liz. I'm here with an updated foundation routine. If you want to see how I got this summer glowy look for my oily skin girls, just continue to watch. So hey guys, we're going to start off this routine with our brows. Now, I'm taking a little bit of LA Girl Concealer that's about two shades lighter than my skin tone. You can use any concealer that fits you. Um, any brand, you really have to find out just what works for you. So I'm taking that and I'm going to carve out the shape of my brows. Right now, my brows is in really, or really good like condi condition. So I'm just following the guidelines of my natural brow. I really don't have much to fill in at all. My eyebrows are really thick, so thank God for that. So we're just going to carve out our brows with the concealer. And then we're going to go in and blend that concealer out just so everything could be seamless. You want to remember, guys, when you're applying any type of liquid or powder to your face, blending after you apply it is always best. You just don't want no harsh lines. You just want to blend that out. That brow looks really good. So what we're going to do is, is grab some more concealer off the back of our hand and go in and do like such to the next brow and just make that all, make them cousins. They don't have to be twin sisters, but they, they, they could be cousins. I'm good with that. So guys, I know it's been a while since I uploaded an updated foundation routine. Thank you guys for your patience. Um, we're just jumping right back into things. This is my Fenty uh, Beauty um, primer. I like it. I like the way it smells. I like the consistency of the primer. Um, it doesn't really hold back any oils for my skin. But um, I do like it as a protective barrier between my skin and my foundation. Or any makeup that I'm going to apply to my skin. So just prime your skin with any primer of your choice. I'm an oily skin girl, so I just use uh, primers that help combat oil. I do sometimes set my own primer like you see me doing here with like a translucent powder. And it's just as an extra step just to hold off the oils too, just to set that on primer. So your makeup can last a little bit longer, a little bit longer. So we're going to go in with some Land Call Tint Adal Ultra 24. Um, this is my summer shade foundation. And um, I love the formula for this um, Lancome foundation. I really do. I need to get my own winter shade in this foundation as well. But for right now, this is what I have. And just thank God it's summer. So what's going to happen is I'm just blending this foundation all over my skin like such. I use about two, two and a half pumps. And um, I just continue to apply and blend. Um, it looks a little warm on my skin right now with the lights and everything. But I promise you with when I complete with the completed makeup look, it will all look good. I really rather go a shade darker with my foundation than to be a shade lighter because like I can make it work with a little darkness but with this lighter I can't make it work so see how after a while if you just blend out your foundation it all blends in together seamlessly like look at that I love that we're going to make it work just applying some to the lids don't forget the eyelids ladies and just keep on blending Get your neck, get everything. So now we're going in with the concealer. This concealer looks like it's about three shades lighter than my skin tone. Um, I'm going to conceal under the eyes. I'm going to conceal um, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow. And um, we're just going to keep this going. Uh, when it comes to my under eye concealer, I do apply the most under my eye. Um, I want to conceal my lines. I want to apply. I want to make it a little bit more brighter under there. When it comes to like the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow, I use a little less um concealer. I want to brighten those areas too as well, but not as much. You know, subtle. So you see how I just went in with a brush to the bridge of my nose because that works best for me. What's going to happen is now we're just going to go in and we're going to start that blending process. So everything can just look seamless. So we're going to blend out our chin. 
And I mean, you can go in any order that you would like. But for the most part, I know that I like my concealer under my eye to sit the longest. So I don't initially go in and blend out my concealer under my eye first. I like it to like sit on my skin a little bit. And then I go in and I blend like such. Um, this is a um, concealer brush that I got from Sephora. I really like it. I either use this brush that I like from Sephora or I use like a beauty um, sponge. Any beauty sponge. Um, I feel like they all work the same um, so far. I haven't used a lot of different sponges, but I feel like they all work the same. But um, I know I gravitate towards a brush for blending out my um, concealer for the most part. And they, there you go. So honestly, you just really, I want to say this, you really just got to do what works for you. And you really got to just keep trying and playing with your makeup. And I mean, this is not like a extensive date night going out to an event type look, but this natural look still has to look seamless and, you know, just flawless, even though it's just my everyday go-to makeup look, my updated makeup look, you know? There we go. We got some brightness to the under eye and we're concealed. So whenever you apply a liquid, you apply your powder to set. We're going back in with that same Beauty Bakery translucent setting powder. And we're going to set the under eye, the chin, cupid's bow, bridge of the nose. And don't be afraid to, you know, apply your translucent setting powder. I mean, you really got to just do what works for you. Um, at one point, I was. I was afraid. I was like, this is too light. But no, guys. Apply it. Then you wipe it off. I don't bake like that, but don't be afraid. I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty um, matchstick. I, I hope it's called matchsticks. I haven't used it in so while. In such a long time, I mean. I'm going to take a stippling brush and I'm going to apply um, the product, my own um, contour, with a stippling brush. This matchstick is way too dark for my skin tone. Um, I bought it at a time where I didn't kind of know better. I wish it was like two shades lighter, but I can make it work. I apply a little bit at a time and using the stippling brush really makes a difference instead of me just applying it to my skin. And again, that was something I had to learn. I used to apply it just to my skin and be blending my little ass off, <laughs> but um, applying the stippling, applying it with the brush makes it a lot better. So we're going to contour the bridge of our nose as well. We want this makeup look to not be flat, even though it's like our updated everyday look. We don't want just a flat face. We're going to have some dimension and it's going to just, it's going to be nice. So we're just going to keep blending. Again, like I really, I gravitate towards brushes more than um, sponges, but nothing against sponges. It's just, I guess it's just what's in front of me. So we're going to um, take off all that translucent setting powder that we had. We're just wiping it off and blending at the same time. Any chance I get to blend, I blend. Trust me, it's worth it, ladies. Look at that. Nice, seamless. So what we're doing now is setting the contour. We're taking a big fluffy brush and we're going to set our contour with a powder. And this is just so we can lock everything in place. Whenever you apply liquids cream to the face, what do you do? You set it with a powder. We know this. This is what we do. And you do it everywhere. The nose contour, yes. Cheeks, yes. Forehead, yes. We got this. On to blush. On to blush. Don't be afraid of it. I love a good blush. I love a rosy blush, a peachy blush. I am a blush girl whenever I wear makeup. It is needed, you brownie babes. Do it. Now we're going to go in. We're going to apply some eyeliner. 
the eyeliner that we're going to use is a old faithful old faithful okay kat von d liquid eyeliner i love it other ones that i love that's kind of similar stellar liquid eyeliner pen the nyx um liquid um eyeliner but i always have to have a kat von d liquid eyeliner pen in the bag period period take your time ladies do your eyeliner if you can wing it out wing it out if you can't start small work on it you got this the goal is to master anything that you know how to do start small and keep going at one point i would be afraid to do me a eyeliner a wing liner with a natural look now it's my life is my business yes my life my business i'm going to do what it does and i'm going to do what i feel like okay i'm letting you see that it takes a minute to do this eyeliner it's not no quick wham bam thank you ma'am you better get that mirror close to your face and keep doing it okay now what we're going to do is set these brows i'm just using some clear sephora oh, i'm sorry i'm just using some clear sephora um liquid um brow gel and we're going to go to these lips you know we like a brown lip liner that's some kat von d um new lipstick i want to say it's called cathedral um it's from her studded collection i like the formula of all her um lipsticks her liquid lipsticks and her studded collection i do i would tell you that this new lipstick don't last that long like if you're going to wear it have it in your bag so you can keep reapplying it but her liquid lipsticks are bomb so we're just coming together and applying this it's like a terracotta -y, terracotta color nude i would say because you see it has that pinky undertone to it but it's a nude very good i really feel like that just complements the cheeks we're going to go in with these lashes from baddie b and we're going to apply them now that our lashes i'm so sorry i'm out of frame but we got to keep going so now that our lashes are applied and they took forever but now that our lashes are applied we're going to keep going we're going to get this hair together um this unit is from my hair brand this is from cold quality beauty um hair and this is one of my um ready to ship units that i have on we're just going to like fix up our baby hairs a little bit and we're just going to go in for the completed look nothing extravagant we're just going to get ourselves together and then get these little ending shots for y'all so ladies i just want y'all to know do not be afraid to step up the makeup game i know a lot of times when you're just not comfortable and like used to doing certain things you want to stick with the same old thing it's okay to learn new things and update your routine trust me you know as um doing my makeup journey for the last couple of years i've been growing i've been changing learning new things and look at this every day just updated look i love it i love this look so you have to learn you have to um have goals like okay i don't know how to do eyeshadow okay i don't you know i'm scared to do this try it go in your makeup room try it out that's how it's going to work out so that's why i make these videos here so you can just see how look at that look at that beautiful i love this look so guys this is my updated um makeup look this is something that i would just wear really anywhere i would wear this out just anywhere this is not cake face this looks very well it's really blended out well I really like how this look came out, guys. 
Um, if you have any recommendations on anything or you want to leave a comment, please do so. I love chatting with you guys. I'm so happy that I am back. And guys, I hope that you like this video. And please keep in touch, subscribe, share, and follow me on Instagram. Bye, guys.